Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. But now am I often get asked this question, are you a mountain guy or are you a beach guy? And every time I hear that question, I give the same answer. Of course I'm a mountain guy. This is the first time I got to take Justice up here. It was a special trip for me, and I wanted her to love it. I wanted her to love it just like I did, and show her why I love it so much. First day in the books, we counted it as a success. Getting to watch Justice catch her first native cutthroat was pure joy to me. It's something that I'd wanted to scratch off the bucket list for a long time. What do you think? Fish right there. What do you Woo! think? Woo! Give me some. That is the big one of the day. And better yet, to see the joy on her face after catching her first native cutthroat on the fly rod. Everyone who's fly fished for a certain amount of time as their favorite body of water. For me, it's the creek that we were going to go fish on the second day. I spent two years mapping this out and trying to find the best route to it. With no trails leading to it, the only way to it is bushwhacking. Bushwhacking at such high elevation is hard work. Every step is earned. With 60 pounds of gear on your back, including a tent, sleeping bag, and your supply of food, those steps become harder and harder. I remember the first time I made it up to this creek and I walked up to the edge and I saw that first fish. The feeling that I got of knowing that I'd found something special. A creek that was so secluded that Google Maps didn't even have a name for it. A creek that I got to name myself. I call it Genesis Creek.
This creek is crazy. The fish in it act like they've never seen flies. Most likely because they haven't. Something so special to me about going into the back country and seeing wild native fish in those creeks. More than the fact that these fish are so eager to play your game and to eat your fly, they're beautiful on top of that. They're truly magnificent. These types of places are fading in our world right now, and there's not many places left that are quite like this one. Genesis Creek will always be one of the coolest creeks that I've ever fished, and on this occasion, it was no exception. The fishing was outstanding, the wildlife was incredible, and the good times flowed.